money makers how much will application development in the whole world of apps grow thanks to apple's new ipad our next guest says this will be a real game changer matt murphy knows all about it he's a partner at kleiner perkins caulfield and buyers he and he also manages the i fund which invests in companies that produce products to extend the platforms that are the iPhone and iPod and now iPad. He's in Mountain View, California. Matt, it's great to see you again. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, yesterday, uh, when the iPad was announced earlier this week, the senior vice president at Apple said it's going to be a whole nother gold rush for developers. Is that true? I think so. I mean, you know, the amazing thing is just how fast the overall platform, if you think about iPhone, iPod Touch, and now iPad is growing. It's about 50 million units in 2009, uh, doubling roughly year over year. And then you add the iPad into the equation, and it just continues to extend the amount of endpoints or devices on this platform. And the beautiful thing for developers is they can develop a single application that run, can run across all of them. Now, the iPad's a bigger screen, and it'll have uh, more capabilities, so developers will make modifications to the application to optimize for that experience. But it's a modest uh, port rather than a significant amount of work. So it really helps the developer quickly get on a new platform and address a new audience, which is exciting. And, Matt, this device has to be better at, at serving ads, a better vehicle for that than the smartphones. Will that alone maybe make more apps free? Sure. Um, you know, advertising in general has, has seen a real inflection in 2009 as seemingly most every advertiser wants a play in mobile, wants to get in front of the mobile consumer. And this is an even better ad experience, just given the size of the screen. You can have more interactive ads, more video ads, things like that. So I think we'll see much higher CPM ads, which will lead to more free content and more highly monetized applications. I also think that people will be willing to pay for a lot more content on uh, a screen the size of the iPad, and so that will extend the, the paid model, which has been quite successful to date as well. Yeah, what kinds of apps are you most interested in funding? When you look on the iTunes store at the top free and top paid app, there doesn't seem to be much of a trend. It's some games, some productivity. What would you back right now, and do you see the price of applications rising? I don't see the price of applications rising. I think that the freemium model will be the predominant model going forward, which is the model of starting off with a free application but monetizing some percent of your uh, users who want a... Uh, a more feature rich or more functionality in the app. Uh, gamers have been really successful with this. But I agree with you that generally across the App Store you see a variety of applications. That's kind of the beauty of it with uh, 140,000 applications to date. On the iPad itself, uh, I think it's great for uh, education. So we're going to see a lot of educational type applications emerge. Uh, we're investors in a company called Goji with their application Text Plus, which is a free texting and communication app. And I think the one thing that people always want to do when they get a new platform is they want to communicate. And there's no native communication application right. built into the iPad. So you can see people collaborating and right. communicating around the content. So uh, that's a, a thing we're quite interested in. Matt, great to see you. Matt Murphy of the iPhone. Sure. We'll see you soon, Matt. Thanks. Nice, nice to see you.